Alex, first of all, thank you for coming in to join us here. Thanks for having me. So, yeah, okay, let's rewind three, four weeks. Everyone thought, why worry about the stock market? Take that 5% yield and with it, you know, we had at six months, the one year, maybe even the two year ultimately. Oh my, how things have changed. Um, I don't know. Now that we've seen the, the two year rocketing 40 basis points in one day and then the next and then the next, what is the implication for investors? Well, I think investors need a safe haven to go to. And we see the, the skyrocket in price, the drop in yield, because they're looking for a safe place to be. And that place is not a bad place to be, is the Treasury market. I mean, it's a great advertisement for what the government's been up to, for their ability to backstop the economy, broadly speaking, starting with some regional banks. But you're still getting a positive yield. And it's a material number. If we went backwards two years, those numbers were zero. No, but it's also ironic because by people piling into Treasury bills, they undermined the banking system. Let's not forget everyone who's moving deposits right now. I mean, this is all part of the problem. That's true. But as the yields go down, they actually some of the banks are helped because now the long term or midterm dated liabilities are worth more. So in its own odd way, it's going to sort of balance itself out. But if you did a bad job managing your asset to liability base, these moves aren't going to much help, but they help some for folks who are on the margin. There we have a look at two-year notes, uh, ten-year notes, and, and others with nice yields on them. We look at shorter bills, one-year, six-month, three-month T-bills. Um, they look okay right now. They're not as high as they were a couple of days ago. But let me spin forward the clock two or three months to the point at which we may be in a debt ceiling crisis. What is my risk there well, from think... that if there's a, a, a stall or a breakdown? Well, we've been close to that before, and we've always blinked. I think we need to. The, the government has a long-term requirement to continue to pay its debt, and a reputational damage would happen if it didn't. So I think we all have to kind of bet that some or, uh, arrangement is made, and made in relatively short order without having to talk about wacky things like a trillion-dollar platinum coin or the brinksmanship that we were worried about a few weeks ago. Most people, if they're in anything like a, a T-bill or a, they're, everyone's going to Treasury Direct and hoping that they're just not going to be in the crosshairs of any potential delay on, on those payments, make the case for why I should be in some kind of T-bill ETF right now. I mean, unless I have, like, the biggest risk appetite of all time, these they must be like a roller coaster lately, right? I mean, you, normally an ETF would be a more efficient product, but right now I, I think, I don't know, I'd maybe just like to sit in that T-bill and, and not worry about it. Sure. I mean, so there's been some volatility in rates without doubt. But I encourage anyone who wants to look at a T-bill or Treasury Direct to go and try it. It's hard. Or open up your brokerage account and look to the buy. The site was down in the middle of all of this. Exactly. So. It's, it's, ultimately, it's hard to buy Treasury notes. Folks forget that bonds are still cleared over the counter. They're traded in fractions. I can't tell you how many people didn't like fractions in school. And no one thinks in 64s anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's much easier to buy the ETF. And, and the ETFs we've created stay on the run. So T-bill. What does and, that mean? So we stay on the most recent issue from the government, which also is the most liquid. So if you look this morning around 10 a.m., when we took a look at all of the two years you could buy, so anything that had about a two-year to maturity remaining on it. The On the Run had a one-tick, two-tick spread, whereas all of the others had 5, 10, 20. So although you had something that looked like it might mature in two years and you could easily just buy it, when you tried to sell it, you were going to find its price was quite different. Interesting. All right, Alex, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll have you back.